Right, well we've got our basic configuration and uh, we can investigate uh, a little bit around the, the various nodes. We, we could uh, have a look at root array for instance and do a show IP interface brief using its abbreviated form and we can see the various interfaces that we've got here. We could have a look around the configuration so we could have a look at the running configuration and uh, if I if I look at that and begin that configuration at, at interface I surprised myself then we'll get the characters in the right order and um, we should see the first of those interfaces in fact is the loopback interface which is fine and if we just press return a few times we should see some of the other interfaces coming into play as well I think we've got the main ones there the main players in the park so we can see this one up here. Let's let's start and have a look at that. See what that actually means. Now I'm going to use a tool which um, I guess a lot of you are familiar with if you've been out there googling stuff. I have come across SolarWinds Subnet Calculator. We can sort of see uh, who that is. Um, it is SolarWinds.net. Okay, so. Um, they've got various tools and things. If you click on these, they, they go off to various programs that you may have to purchase. But this thing is free, uh, free to download. So we can look at address details here in the sort of basic form. I can use classful subnet calculators, subnet addresses, or my preferred tab is the CIDR calculator. So I can work classless. So if I have a look at that first address, let's just uh, free him up. We'll pop him in there. Look, we can come in. It's putty, remember? So Putty allows you to do this. So I can take the address block, paste that in there. So I know that's where I'm starting with. Uh, let's take its mask, see what that means. Okay, so highlight it in Putty and drop it in here. So let's see if it pasted. No. Okay, so what does that mean? 255, 255, 255, 255. Well, that means all ones, isn't it? Well, we can find it. Here it is, look. Dub, 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 dub. There it is, right at the bottom of the list. What it actually means as well is it's a mask of 32 bits slash 32. So how many networks are there? Let's see. If we hit the generate subnets button here we'll find there's a subnet of 1 and there's a range of addresses from 172.19.1.10 to 172.19.1.10 and that's it. That is the network. That is it. So really what it's saying is, of course, that's a host address. There is just the one. Fine, because that's what a loopback address is all about. It is uh, the one. No, let's have a look. Let's bring that down. And let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got a fast Ethernet 00. zero. So let's take its IP address. And paste that in. Let's change its mask. So let's pick it from the list. If you prefer... So we can see there, and we can see that's a slash 24. What, what you could have done is simply just come in here and do slash 24. It would have achieved the same thing. Now, slash 24. Remember, before we only had one host. If I hit the generate subnet button, we've got a single subnet still, but the subnet size is now 254. Well, it's an 8 bits, isn't it? From, from slash 24 to slash 32 is 8 bits and those 8 bits correspond to a subnet size of 254 so there's the mask actually there's the inverse mask if you do things like OSPF that's useful 192.168.250.1 to 192.168.250.254 that is the range and then the, the broadcast is of course the highest value good so if you like the lowest value is the network the highest value is the broadcast and then the values in between are the hosts hence the 254 excellent good so that's a single network so that's fine let's let's have a look a little bit further down so if we scroll this down there's serial 00, zero look and if we take its IP address and paste that in Based on what we've learned, oh hang on a minute that's a bit more difficult I don't know what that is, what does that mean? Well, let's match it up then so we need to see that value in here so it's 240 in the last octet look so that corresponds to slash 28 ah that's right because if we go back to the diagram that's a slash whoop that's a slash 28 
good it's it's what it should be then okay so if we we bring those uh back in again let's bring the subnet calculator back in okay so slash 28 that that that's right let's hit the generate subnets button it's just one network ah right so all i'm creating is single networks at this moment in time i was expecting to see some sub networks well to get the sub networks right what you need to do is you need to change your starting position and the actual starting position for these were was in fact a slash 24 bit mask and then effectively what we went looking for is we went looking for subnets within those in order to generate some further subnets so uh, we can increase this see the second part down here the second part here where they got the subnet mask so this is the extension of that so instead of being 24 let's do 28 now let's generate the subnets now we've got something that looks like subnets so what we did before was perfectly correct for, in some cases and certainly correct for the loopback address but here what you can see now is we've got a large number of networks here how many networks have we got well it's based on the number of bits look we started off with 24 bits and that corresponds to the blue symbols here all set to n there's 24 of them always starting from the left hand side 8 bits at a time of course yeah all the way up to 24 so what we stole because to generate the subnets we've stolen bits we've stolen from 24 to 28 so we've gone from 24 to 28 that means we've stolen these four bits the steel bits or subnet bits and we've left some bits behind for hosts well we can see that in each of the networks here's the first of those networks if we come along we can actually see within that we've actually got a number of hosts and those hosts here start from 1.1 all the way through to 1.14 there are subnet size of 14 so there'll be 14 hosts per that's because you get a network or subnetwork so you see this value on the left hand side then you get the host range yep so you see all the hosts down here okay they're all ranged at 14 each but of course you get different values because they start from their subnets on the left hand side so zero to start off with so that means the subnet range is from 1 to 14 16 is from 17 to 30 because it's 16 plus 1 is 17 to 16 plus or 14 which of course is 30 the next value off, of course is always the broadcast address so the lowest value is the subnet the highest value is the broadcast plus 1 is the next subnet so that's how you'll sort of find your way around and of course this also gives you the mask and the inverse mask as well to play with good so when you're doing anything sort of and you and you're you're creating subnets and you're subnetting then what you're doing is you start from somewhere and it doesn't have to be classful forget that those old classful boundaries you start somewhere and that's defined probably by your ISP your internet service provider or your, or your IT function they will say right this is your starting point this is your start mask now subnet off of that if you're allowed to of course they might already be doing that for you but if you're allowed to they'll give you a starting point and then off you go and then you can start to range off from there and that's exactly what we did so we started off with a with a slash 24 and then we ranged that off so what we were looking for was a particular subnet so if we're starting at slash 24 and we're working our way down through we're looking for particular subnets in here yeah and in fact it was this subnet in here that we were actually ranging for uh, and you could see that that ha has, a, has a range of addresses that you could use okay so it all depends where you start and what you're going from now of course that we might have been lying we might have started say with a value of let's go back one 16 right and let's let's allow that to go all the way up to uh, slash 28 so in that case let's change the bits here to 28 so starts at and goes all the way up to 28 right remember it's a slash 28 now let's see how many subnets we generate look at the number of subnets we've got 4096 look at the host still 
14 per right but we've ranged this now from 16 through and these this is the this is the size of the subnet still okay as we go up through so why because the remaining host bits yeah the remaining host bits stayed the same it's each time we're not we 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 we've, we've stolen up to an including if we stole up to an including 24 bits then look the host bits have now increased to 8 because 24 plus 8 is 32 so if we generate the subnets now there's 256 of them you know feel free to count those at your leisure so when you go round and have a look at the addresses what we need to do is we need to know what the start point was and then we need to then move from that start point out in terms of uh, in terms of the the number of bits we steal which is the subnetting bits and then the number of bits we leave behind because it's important to leave enough bits behind leave behind enough host bits in order to obviously um, facilitate the number of hosts that you actually need in each and one every one of those subnets so I'm changing here I'm changing the mask length which we change the mask length to let's bring that up to 28 but again let's change the start menu could change the start point all the way back up to 8 if you wanted to or even beyond and again depending upon where you start that's that's got a range in fact, we need to change that again that's going to range that and again you can see here I could go further look I could go to 30 look what it does to the number of hosts so we generate the subnets we've got 64 subnets a reasonable number to look at but look what it's done the number of hosts we've got is just two per per subnet not so clever then but of course we can then use these to change the number of bits so if we want to increase the number of hosts just change the host bits let's change the host bits to three that's something different because it changes the mass length maximum of 29 starting again from 24 so this time we've got 32 subnets each subnet has the same number of hosts six in this case because of the remaining three would have been eight but you lose one because that's your broadcast and you lose one because that's your subnet so it's important we know where the starting point is and we, we in order to be able to establish precisely you know what this actually means you know what these values sort of stand out to be okay so we can see here you know 169 through to 170 and 161 to 162 have to sit within the realms of the slash 28 subnets once you're done you can essentially copy what you've got here and then paste those into say, an Excel spreadsheet or you can in fact export these out into a file I particularly like the cider tab and all you have to remember is that you essentially just have to remember where you're going to start from and you know that come from your ISP or your IT department and in this case we start at slash 24 before we start calculating our subnets and if we had the same number of bits in the CIDR notation as we had in the original mask then of course that would generate just a single subnet as we can see here we could of course then extend that and start thinking about stealing some extra bits so if we stole two bits taking the mask up to 26 then when we generate the subnets what we'll end up with is four subnets we could of course take that further and increase that to three bits so slash 27 and therefore we generate eight subnets and the story goes on really so by using those three bits for the subnets that's those are eight additional subnets that leaves us five bits for the hosts that gives us two to the power of five which is 32 minus two that's one for the network and one for the actual broadcast leaving 30 hosts per each of those subnets so there you go you see the just flash through there just setting that out so again based on where you start from working your way through and then stealing the number of bits as you need to to create the right number of subnets but also re retaining the right number of within the subnet the right number of hosts okay so happy hunting